Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time stopping on our channel, then thank you for watching. My name is Lucy and I film lots of different videos with my best friend, Melissa. As you can see, it's just me today and I am bringing you the first monthly favourites video of 2022. Can you believe it's already the end of January? Like, where has the month gone? So, let's get straight into it. So in January, I didn't go back to work until the 10th, so I had quite a little bit of time off um, after, over Christmas and New Year. So I did watch quite a little bit of TV, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, all of the things. I'm not going to go into detail about the series I watch, because obviously I don't want to give any spoilers, and that's not what this video is for. I'm just letting you know the favourite things I've watched, and a little brief summary of what it's about. So the first thing that I enjoyed watching was on Netflix and it is called Stay Close. It was on the top 10, I'm sure it's probably still on there, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a crime mystery series, if you like those sort of crime series that are on BBC and things, it's, it's like that. Um, I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but yeah it's very good and it's got a crazy twist near the end it oh, i did not expect it it is so good so if you're into crime series then go and watch stay close it's so good the next thing i watched on netflix was called archive 81 it's a sci-fi i suppose it was kind of horror series um it was it's basically about a cult but it's got lots of twists and twists and turns in it, um, a lot goes on, a couple of jump scares, um, yeah that is, if you're into that sort of thing, that is pretty cool. The last thing I watched on Netflix, which I really enjoyed, was called Superstore. It's a super random series, um, there's six seasons of it, so I managed to get through six seasons in probably two and a half weeks, so I literally binged it. Um, they're super easy watch episodes they're 25 to 30 minutes long literally about people who work in the supermarket but it's funny and lots of stuff goes on in it um and it's just a nice thing to watch you don't have to concentrate too much on it um but i really really enjoyed that so another thing of i watched uh, was on Disney Plus and you all know it already you're already singing the songs we don't talk about Bruno no 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 you're already singing it Encanto absolutely loved it such a good film I'm a huge Disney lover anyway so absolutely love all the Disney movies um, but it was just the colours are amazing the story is amazing it's super creative and the music, obviously, everyone loves the music. Do I need to say anything else? Encanto. It's amazing. I'm going to leave it there. So now we're going to talk about fashion favourites. No, am I fashionable? Pfft, probably not. Not really. But I like what I like. I wear what I wear and I love it. So I'm going to show you my favourites. The first thing, these are so flipping cool. I'm a little bit geeking out a tiny little bit. These. Is it focusing on them? Gremlin shoes. They've got little gremlins on the side, gremlins on the front. Oh my days. They are so, so cool. So cute. I actually got this for Christmas from my dad but obviously I've not been anywhere to wear them so I've been wearing them this month. They're super comfy super cute i love them yes add it to the vans collection let's do it next everyone knows i'm a big fan of vans absolutely love it i love this stuff it's not as expensive it's not as expensive as other things and they always have these really cool collections they've done disney they've done um they did toy story they've done simpsons and they did a horror collection I bought the shoes a few months back and then I really like the sweatshirt and my brother bought me the Friday the 13th sweatshirt for Christmas and it is beautiful look at it 
it is lush and this bit actually this white bit actually glows in the dark it's so cool looks flipping awesome with a pair of black jeans and it also matches the friday the 13th bands i have so that is a full outfit right there favorite carrying on with the fashion accessories favorites lounge fly bags these are a new and dangerous obsession i think i've shown them before and there's just loads you can get hundreds of these bags um, they're lounge fly bags, they're absolutely amazing, and look at this, oh my god, is that not just stunning, look at the detail, it's a Jungle Book one, and it is gorgeous, it's got a good little zip at the front, it's even got um, like a little Jungle Book pattern inside, and it's got a little zip inside, they are lush, I have about, how much do I have of these now, I have eight of these now, and there are so many more that I want, but it's, I have to um, have some self-control and I have to pace myself because I'll be spending every single penny that I earn on these bags. So I have to really rein it in and calm myself down. This was actually another present for Christmas, but obviously I haven't been anywhere to use it. This is one of my absolute favourites out of all of my bags. Um, I just think it's gorgeous. It goes of anything but it's smart as well it's disney but it's grown up disney it's smart you know <gasps> i love it next we're going to go into electronics technology category so i do a lot of um editing obviously when i edit these videos i'm always on my laptop i'll watch things on my laptop um making documents on my laptop so i'm, I'm on my laptop all, a lot all the time and it was getting where I was sitting on my lap all the time because I always sit with it on my lap. I don't even really have a table where I can sit with it. Um, it was I was getting such bad pain in my wrist here where this was like sitting on like the edge. So I literally Amazon just good good I love a good Amazon buy. Which I needed a lap tray, but I needed one that tilts. So I found this this thing. Obviously the laptop sits on this bit and then you unclip this and it can go however much you want it i mean that's like the highest it goes which is super good um so that's very handy and it's cushioned it's got these two pad things on there so it sits sits on my leg perfectly such a good buy that was it's only 15 pounds it wasn't expensive either it was quite inexpensive and it's quite sturdy, will last, it's got a handle, I can carry it, not that I need to carry it, but you know, um, so yeah, £15, Amazon, lap tray, some of these things I will put, I will put the links in um, the description below, if you're interested in them, I don't know if you will be, but hey, I'll put it in there, there you go. So the next thing I am I have been obsessed about and I have been playing is my Switch. But one game in particular, Pokemon. Actually, the Pokemon, the Pokemon. Let's go, Eevee. This one, this one here. It's so good. And I have actually got another one that I got for Christmas. But I need to complete this one first before I play that. Um, but I've been playing it. Got really far on one night. I think I played it for like four and a half hours without actually realising how fast the time had gone. And whoa, yeah. I love it. It's such a good game. Obviously you go around. Everyone knows what Pokemon is. We all know what Pokemon is. I used to love, I was obsessed with Pokemon as a kid. And I still got a sticker book somewhere which I had like 18 years ago and I've still got all my original old Pokemon cards they are somewhere safe and I'm trying to find them out because apparently they're worth a lot of money but I don't know um, but I used to I used to love it I had all the little teddies I used to carry them around with me um, yeah so absolutely love that they've got got it on the Nintendo Switch but yes Pokemon Let's Go Eevee it is a good game
Moving on to the pet section. This is for my dogs, Todd and Peaches. I actually bought it from um, a company that they are brand reps for, um, but she makes these stunning, stunning bandanas and sailor bows, bows, all of the really cute pet accessories. Um, if you use the code Todd and Peaches 10, you will get 10% off as well. But go follow them on Instagram because they're so lovely. Um, so the first, so I, these, they're stunning. They're off. Their, they're from their new collection. Are bandanas, but they're like beige and white with their initials on. So that's Todd's. Seriously, how flipper cute is that? And Peaches has got the same, but it's got little frills on. Oh. So look, they're gonna look so cute in those. They're so lovely, aren't they? And obviously, they've got their little um, brand name there. Um, obviously, I'll put the link in the description if you're looking for super cute things. If you're a crazy dog mum like me and you like to make buy accessories for your pets, then they're the place to go. There you go. One more thing, and this is the most mundane, boring thing ever, but it's super helpful and if someone's in the same position they would probably want to know about this stuff so i'm a swimming teacher so i'm always at the pool i'm always walking along those the germ ridden skanky pool floors and my feet are always in the water so they have been transformed over the past two weeks because i've been using this it is intense overnight foot cream by flexitol I've had these before, but I've not had that overnight. So I'll put it on in the evening, all over my feet, and then I'll put socks over my feet. And honestly, I've been absolutely amazed because my feet have been so smooth and there's been hardly any dry patches on them at all. And normally I really struggle with that. I have a thing about my feet and I hate them and it's frustrating because I've always had dry feet, cracked heels, horrible, doesn't matter how much I did with them or put stuff on them it was always the same but this has absolutely worked a miracle cure um so here it is let me hide behind the box flexitol intense overnight foot cream i got this from amazon it was only 5.99 which is actually a little bit cheaper that, so, than some of the other really good um foot creams and this has worked the best like this has been the absolute best one I have tried all the creams. Another good one is that O'Keefe's um, foot cream. That is good in a blue bottle. But this, out of every single cream I have ever used, this is the best one. And I will be bulk buying it. So I have it in the house all the time. Honestly, it's amazing. Visible results overnight, it says in the box. And let me tell you, I saw that. So that's all of my favourite things from this month. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you saw some things that you um, like and might be interested in. You never know. Um, remember to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and we will see you in the next video. Boom!